it's a new week. We're back, and it's a short week this week. Um, we've got the Easter weekend. I'm going to be doing some work on Friday, but the team are going to have a well-deserved long back holiday weekend. So it's going to be a shorter episode than usual, but we've got a pretty jam-packed four days. Uh, today, we've got all of our internal meetings. We've got some bits and pieces I need to G up over the road. I really want to try and get some areas clear, some containers vacated, and the plate running a little bit more clockwork so we can get that mezzanine in as quickly as possible. And then we're on the road later in the week. We've got loads of developments going on with our internal systems and our website. And I'm just praying and hoping it starts to pick up pretty soon because sales are not quite where I want them to be. It's a bit touch and go on the sales team's target for this month. Let's go. I'm cleaning away and it's totally just pissing everywhere. I've got two mugs. Oh yeah. I'm guessing they're both flagship. Oh, yes, that's it. Right. Yeah, yeah, so they're part of that group. So do you mind? I still say design. Yeah, do you mind? Just send yeah, so that'll be one, that'll yeah. be one. Is that, so, is that the same or it's got different sides? That's what I'm saying. Oh, I'll send a picture of these sides because most of them have that on the back. Yeah, so that's fine. Different. So for that one, can you just send me that? Yeah. And at least all the other ones would be that size. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah. Thanks, mate. Perfect. clear this container because this is the junk container where we've had stuff that gets returned to us and gets left um, just just hoarding stuff in here and it's just become a junk container so we're just trying to slowly clear it down and make some room yeah Sorry. Um, did you get my email? yeah but I've sent that how many times have you you must have that on file um, normally I've never done one myself Oh, I always do it, okay. Alright, I'll send you the tempo when I go back over there. Oh, because I've got someone that needs to start tomorrow. What? What the hell? Huh? Alright, give me, I'm just clearing this container with Nathan and I'll go back over there. That's that. Yeah, me and Nathan are looking through the stock. Oh, right. Oh, it's locked. trying to do at the moment is we're trying to move away from containers uh, and if what the plan is all being well which is running the final calculations but the plan is to try and put a mezzanine in here uh, to basically give us when we loop up the upstairs that's not currently being used as efficiently as it could be and we put a nice mezzin we effectively everybody that's on the ground floor we lift them up onto the second floor and then the ground floor of this this unit gets turned into a proper warehouse with proper racking um, and what it will allow us to do is get rid of living out of these containers we've had to do it for a while because it's been a bit of a short-term plan while we ascertain could we make this building work for the next couple of years couldn't we um, I feel like we might be almost there with working out that yes a mezzanine could work um, it's just trying to work out how we make that flow really well and will it give us when we put that investment in new sort of capex it looks on the surface is that it's going to easily pay for itself within a year just in the cost of these containers and, and the efficiency of the stock being right on the ground floor and then being fed up the only concern I have is if we're gonna renew a lease in this unit here for another three years is three years gonna be you know are we gonna have problems again and we, we go through this whole procedure so it's always on my mind and it's something I never used to think much about. I used to go very gung ho uh, and we just crack on and worry about it afterwards. But what I've realised is that you should always be thinking three years ahead. It's really difficult when you're balancing cash flow in it in comparison with actually what's practical for the next three years. Um, 
but I think back to when we moved into this unit three years ago and I remember the day we walked in I thought oh, I will never feel that and it's quite strange to actually three years later we're now across two buildings in near almost eight containers um, so I don't know it's weird we're, we're doing the maths at the moment which was trying to work it out and it's balancing that it's that constant balancing act we're trying to make sensible investments and looking further ahead rather than just thinking about today um, so that's, that's where we're at, but I will, I will be excited to see if we can just gradually cut these containers down, move stuff in, uh, and I'm going to be really interested to look at the efficiency percentages weekly if we do that and see how much that helps, because I, some of the team don't think it'll make a big difference, but I think it'll make a very big difference. Um, so yeah, we could just hold more stock and buy in pallet quantities rather than odds and sods. That's what we're doing. Tuesday and we are in the office behind the desk um, feeling not sure how I'm feeling this morning <laughs> um, but um, yeah fairly good start to the day having a look over some of yesterday's numbers um, relatively happy with how the last couple of days have been going we seem to be you know things seem to be picking up um, as an industry, it's felt a little bit quiet. Not, I'm sure there's some people that aren't quiet, but you know, some, certainly speaking, some of our manufacturers and, and wholesalers and the like, and they seem to be on the quieter side than you would expect around March. Um, so not great. Hasn't we're not you know flying by any stretch, but um, it does seem to be picking up, and there's lots of um, traction happening and we're just waiting for some things to to come over the line but um, I feel like we're doing all the right things as a team to be trying to push in the right direction so um, that's fairly positive spent some time looking over the numbers um, and then I have been just having a little look again which I try and I'm trying to do more and more often um, just having a look through the last couple of months figures the nominal codes again on the P&L just seeing anywhere where they're creeping up why they're creeping up, if it's justifiable, do we need to tweak anything in the budgets, uh, is there anything we didn't quite think through, um, because that's evolving and changing all the time. All in all, fairly happy. Um, there's, a couple, there's a couple that are creeping over, but then there's a, a fair few that are coming under, so that's quite positive news. Um, and just really just firing off some emails off the back of that stuff that's come into my mind of things that I think we can be doing to, to get the, the financials in a better position. Um, so just firing off some things and of things I think different teams can be doing to help aid in, in improving the efficiency um, and the profitability. So that's good. Um, and now I'm just spending a little bit of time doing some web brainstorms. I've got a couple of meetings this afternoon. A lot of my time at the moment is all on um, the online presence and the customer experience um, online. Um, just because as we've put a hell of a lot of investment both mentally but also financially in the last 12 months into improving our whole customer experience online um, with the whole e-commerce functionality and that. So I'm very much every week trying to make improvements to that um, with, the, with the teams both externally and internally. So I've got a few meetings later so I'm just brainstorming some things that I think we need to be doing better and new concepts and experiments. I want to just be trying to run experiments every week um, for on the landing pages to see if changing the colour of a button or changing the text or the functionality will just improve some things. Um, so that is what we're up to. And then me and Sam are shortly going to shoot a how it works video for all of the landing pages on products to try and help people who haven't purchased promotional products before understand a little bit more about how our process works. So that is what we're doing. It's Wednesday and we are just going over a few bits and pieces, a little bit of admin out of the way, and then we are hitting the road with um, Mitch, head of sales, Phil, our product manager, and myself and Sam. Uh, and we're going to visit a potential new partner um, that's gonna mean 
that we kind of vertically integrate a slightly different product offering to some of our customers that we seem to be getting asked for more and more. Um, so we're going to head up there, um, head towards Leicester um, and see how we get on. And that's what we're up to today. It's uh, feeling pretty good. Yesterday, got the first few samples of our internal branded uniform, if you like. Um, pretty mad. I mean, for anyone who doesn't know, we're you know, that's what we do. We, we put logos onto branded clothing, uniform, mugs, pens, tote bags, promotional products, basically. Um, and we do all that all over the road in our production facility. And uh, pretty ironic that branding company uh, don't have all their own branded clothing. Um, and so we're finally getting that sorted. But we're so, we've been really busy and so focused on getting everybody else for our customers done, we haven't really... Um, worry too much about ourselves. So now we have got first few samples and they look pretty smart for the for the sales guys and the office base guys. We've got these sort of nice um, merino wool knit jumpers with a nice embroidery on the chest, which looks quite nice. Nice grey, so it's on brand. Um, and yeah, I've got those out, so I'm sporting that today. Um, now I've got some samples, everyone's trying theirs on. We've got some shirts coming, some sort of white Oxford shirts. We've got production guys, some new polos and, and bits and pieces. So yeah, it should look really smart and really nice. Um, yeah, all in all, pretty good. Um, so I'll see you on the road. Right, every time we seem to go on a little road trip, we learn something. So last time, a few episodes back, you'll remember we learned about the fuel cap, that if it points left or right, in my case right, it means the fuel cap's on this side, which I didn't know, which I learned. And this road trip, we've just learned about registration plates. Phil has taught us that the first two letters of the registration plates are all about where the car was originally resonating from. Is that right, Phil? Yeah, that's true. So, mine is KO, the beginning of my number plate. So I've just re learned that it resonates from... Northampton. Northampton. So, I'll be interested to know, does it, anyone else know that the first two letters of the number plates is all about where the car originated from? Because I've learned something new today, and now the phone is ringing. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we did it all ourselves. Lovely. It's a lovely fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take off it. Yeah. Take off it. I'm good for now. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what. I wouldn't mind a, I'll just I'll use a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
yeah. and have the right support basically. Yeah. We don't have a really good relationship with them, we just send them yeah. work. Okay. But in yeah. terms of price point, I don't know how you compare to them on price. But uh, good. Um, I, is it? Yeah. Okay. We, that's why everyone comes to us. Right, okay, fine. Yeah, cool. we, we sell a lot, a lot that's of That's why we're losing everything. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. but you, you, if we compare from Luigi, like for example, that kit there, the three by three, which is our best seller. Yeah, I don't know what he will charge for that, but it's worth it's worth comparing yeah, yeah, yeah. it. It's worth comparing yeah. it, and and we can. But I want I want you guys to be, you know, again, once you once you become a really good account and yeah. you spend, you know, your spending's hundred grand a year. Yeah. you'll go you'll go on a better price. Bank. That was going to be my next yeah. question about yeah. tiers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You will go on a better price bank. I've, I've just, got people. I'll just find out. Like, interesting. From one of the girls yeah, yeah, get an idea. Yeah, get three by three, three delivered. complete. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with a free wall. Yeah. That, that's not included, right? So no, it's not included. That's an accessory that you can. You have to buy extra. Yeah. Do you want to add that in? As you all, could, all you in? could, you could do. But then some people might want to just use like pegs. They might just they, that comes with it already. That comes with it already. Yeah, yeah. So, so that that's comes with it. That's if, right. you want to, if they're going to put in soft ground, then of course they're going to use that already. But then it's hard ground, or even even on, on grass, they use the gazebo weights as well, just to weight it down a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to find a way to best to display that because I yeah. think that's that's a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Going to have a meltdown. Oh, that's really that's really useful. I think we could uh, do a lot. Of, I think we could do a lot of work. I think with we you, could see. Look, all your, all your production management, and everything is done up here. Yeah. So everything's here. So we've got. So Andrew has got over forty years of experience. Wow. Exhibition. Okay. Right. So he's he's been in some really really big companies. These are the people that we used to buy hardware from. We don't buy hardware from them anymore. Um, because we import everything ourselves. Yeah. Everything that all the all the hardware we have here is all our own hardware. We don't buy from any middle person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We buy direct from China. Nice. So hence the reason we can better prices. Yeah, yeah. Do you get me? Uh, otherwise, you forget it. And margin wise, we, we don't even make margin. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, that's how that. So he's got that experience. I've got the experience in, of course, print and hardware. Yeah, yeah, sure. We work together. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, myself, my brother. Yeah. Um, so you don't manage all the production. So not really, no, we've got people in each department, we've got heads in each department yeah. dealing with their own team. Is that team. a struggle to, to get to that point? Or you not know? really, we just have to structure it and, yeah. and do it. So do you multi-skill everyone so that if someone's yes. off, you've got yeah. a sick day yes. or whatever, yeah. you've yeah. got Even I can run a machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the best yeah. way to yeah. go, I suppose. That's yeah. what I used to do. Someone yeah. can always jump in and yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, 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 if Mo doesn't turn up, I'll yeah. jump in and do some yeah. proofing. It's just the way it rolls. Yeah, and proofing so easy now. Yeah, yeah. It's not manual process, it's all automated. Because we do it. All our proofing is going through Switch. So yeah. we've, we've spent a lot, a lot of money um, creating this, you know, this program. Wow. Can you show, just, just do a little demo on what, when you get a file, um, print file and put in Switch, artwork, customs artwork. Can you just show us? Put him on the spot now. Sorry. <laughs> I, just want to, I just want to show these guys uh, what we do. This is that, this is that. Oh, so you've done it all in Illustrator? Yeah, so most of it, yeah. yeah. So that's uh, that's what's that? That's the file. That's, so that's the, the raw file, right? file. So essentially, if they send us artwork um, to size without the template, yeah. all that, um, then we'd need to switch. But in this scenario, I'll just remove the template. Yeah. Drag, yeah. 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 yeah, drag and drop in there. Press start. That's it. Wait, and it'll, it'll just do everything. Really? Yeah. It'll go into its folders, the hot folders, everything. Creates everything. <laughs> so then out will pop what proof? Yeah, uh, proof files, print files, uh, and the cutters. And Cut files, everything. everything. Ready. Do you know like that middle part where you give it to Morris and Morris has to then edit it yeah. so it goes to the yeah, digital yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just that process. That whole, this cuts all of that out. This yeah. cuts all that out. Jeez. Yeah, there's you know, any issues. Yeah. Um, which, which is, is, which is how you can be so quick. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. It's automation, isn't it? You can scale up yeah, by, yeah, yeah, yeah. by having yeah. good systems, yeah. good good you know proofing Instead systems. Of having having, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We we, we uh, no tell a lie. We used to do. Mo, remember we back in the days we used to do probably 30, 40 job bags a day. That's yeah, all yeah, we could yeah. proof. Yeah, yeah. yeah? No yeah, more. You we couldn't proof. Same yeah? as where we are. Now, yeah. now you give us six hundred job bags a day, we can proof it. That's crazy. Incredible. And w without that, without that. Oh, I know. You imagine, Switch, you imagine the Tanisha, bowl. I don't think she'll come work if Switch wasn't working. <laughs> Trust me. It, it, it's that's that's it. how, that's it how you know, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's when that, it goes down, it's When it goes down, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's man, manual process. 
And then yeah, you, that's when you realise how lucky you Correct. are to have him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, the manual system, I've showed these guys earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, yeah the it's automation. All, even like the, even like the, 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 the production board. Oh, is that, the, is that, that like the, that, the works for it? Yeah, it's that, they take things off. This is all the, this is all the live jobs. Wow. And everything tells you what, who's it for. Let's say solar press, printed on comp, you see all the, yeah, yeah. We've got these all, we've got Mac, Mac merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nettle yeah. systems. That's really and then you've got, look, uh, yeah, all the, all the promo companies. So you can see all of them, TC Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll see, you'll see all the customers that deal with this. Yeah. So each day, that's a dispatch day. That's yeah, 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 correct, yeah, correct, yeah. So look, pro yeah, yeah, take, uh, yeah, Over here, we've got like let's go this way. Yeah, it's a good old setup, isn't it? Really? So this is when this is what we have to do when we have to start doing profiling, the machine, you know, like checking colour, yeah. making sure it's it's a lot of a lot of work, a lot of yeah, effort yeah, goes yeah. into this. Oh, um, that's your thing. This is the spin, spin the wheel. wheel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is a a little that's a little mini spin yeah, the wheel. We need that. Yeah, for the sound team, don't we? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> spin the wheel if you get a deal. Yeah. That's get a 50 good. grand deal and spin the wheel. So Ash, do you have like a, um, you might have already asked this, but do you have a production manager or supervisor? Yes, yeah, so Dave's my cousin. Right. He runs this with James. James, who came in the, in the kitchen earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. also um, production manager. Yeah, yeah. So they deal with everything. Yes. Like, yeah. Whatever they want, if they need something, they ask Pino or myself. And we'll order it, you know, yeah. Amazon, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll, we've got people that will, you know, that go to, yeah. and then and, and they'll come to me if it's something like, or my brother, yeah. if it's something like, really like, can you authorise this? Yeah, yeah, if it's yeah. a big, big Can we have something. another view tech? Yeah, 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 that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're, they're quite sensible. Um, yeah. They're, they're, you know, we just let, let each department deal with their own issues and, you know, um, staffing issues and all that stuff. We don't want, we don't like, to, like, Nina wouldn't want to deal with everything. Yeah. You put all these in? Yes, yeah, I've got, I've what's got the maintenance be guys. What's the benefit of it? So it keeps the air out, and of course right. it keeps the uh, keeps the room and in yeah. right temperature controls, so you oh, don't okay. get banding on on your fabrics. Right, and okay. it's, all this is really really yeah, important. Yeah, little critical things. Yeah, I thought yeah. there'd be a method, a reason. Yeah, I just yeah. it's just and interesting. It, yeah, the right room temperatures. Yeah, because yeah. When they when we get deliveries and that shutter's open, of course, that yeah. all the rear, so we've actually put them on that side because we so have that problem. So we put them here and we yeah, put them yeah. here, and everything gets has to be sections it off. Yeah, yeah. But if you don't do that, not so much if you've got a wall there. Yeah, no. If you don't do that and you don't put it in these individual rooms yeah. where people have actually you know other people have actually you know learned a lesson from that by not putting them in rooms yeah. um, <clears throat> it's it's um, it's not worked yeah, yeah it's interesting because you can feel the temperature as you come out yeah that's yeah. it yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah. interesting it does it does work it does retain it yeah yeah now Glowpix is of course um, we we Glowpix is our brand okay um, and we of course bring this in from China we've got uh, from 850 wide one meter two meter three meter okay uh, you can join it up together we had it at the show do you remember yes, we yeah, had? I do remember, yeah, um, yeah. and then this is the counter glow picks and this gets packed in a bag like that literally foam bag easy it, this takes like like 10 minutes to build I love it. that's how easy it is and it how is. much better does that look yeah and, and everything 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 is when you when you when you make it up it's got it's got like uh, shapes so if it's a triangle triangle you that's how it fits yeah. together and that's how easy it is it and there's no tools required for this so you yeah, don't need yeah, any yeah, tools yeah. it just literally slots in plug it in and away you go mm -hmm. and then you of course you put the graphics on the front or the back you can it's a double-sided version this is lightweight um, as well look at that and mm. all your so that's, strong. that's a double-sided Lovely. Okay, yeah. but then if you're just going to use it as a single sided, we would have to put a block out fabric on the back like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, like this, yeah. it's got a block uh, out, yeah, yeah, a block yeah. out so fabric. Yeah. Yeah. And that just blocks it out. Now, this is just a little mini version that we, we bought in last week to show customers. Mm. Um, yeah, I love it. No, and this, cool. this counter was well, like it's double sided yeah. as well. Cool. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I didn't think that. Yeah. Yeah. Very smart. <laughs> Looks lovely. Yeah, I've got my details. Obviously, yeah. yes. Yes, yeah, point of contact. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, no Ash as well. So yeah, yeah. 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 But end of the day, guys, yeah. we work together. I'll say no. Oh, I think it'll be a yeah. fruitful yeah. partnership. Oh, I think it'll yeah. be really good. It'll be good for the customers. Uh, good for yeah. you guys and good for us. We'll grow together. Win, win all round. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Thanks so Thank you much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for everybody. See you soon. Wrapping up. It's Thursday actually. It's wrapping up Thursday because it's a short week, so we're cutting the vlog here, so we can get this out for you this weekend. Um, on my mind is 
how quickly things can change. This week, like literally, I think anybody who is in the world of building something, not just a business, but anything, will know that it's just up and down. And I feel like sometimes I've got some sort of disorder where I'm just, my mood is just up and down like a yo-yo. One minute I, I go home and I'm on top of the world, nothing can stop us. And the next minute I just feel like throwing a towel in. And I think most people I talk to are in the same boat. I don't like, I don't enjoy that. But, but when things are going well, it is just the most incredible feeling. Um, but then the, the 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 cost of that is is obviously the, the rough days. But actually, the tide has really turned today. We've had our biggest ever day in e-commerce sales. Um, we've had nearly well, basically, what will be five figures of sales to us. Which, you know, we've exceeded the ten grand mark for the first time ever in one single day of sales through pure online e-commerce sales. So I'm so pleased about that. Really happy. Some developments seem to be taking shape. We seem to be pushing in the right direction. And it feels like we've had a productive week and the tide might be turning for us. Catch you next week and it'll probably be on the floor again, but it's just the way it is. I've got um, a very beautiful written card from Liz, who I'm going to miss greatly. She's um, Liz has worked with us for just over a year now. Um, feels like a lot longer than that, but um, she's she's worked in our production department and she's just been an absolute asset to us, uh, to the team. And she's moving on to pursue uh, a career in tattoo design so something we couldn't help her with um, but I'd be very gutted to see her go and she's wrote us a beautiful card with some really sweet kind words and on days like that when you read things like that it just reminds you it's really worth continuing to work with great people and to, to create more opportunities so we're wrapping up thanks for being here have a great Easter see you next week